Hello, I'm Sally Gunn. Today's book, Panther, Shadow of the Swamp, is like a day in the life of this panther. The book is by Jonathan London and it's illustrated by Paul Morin. This Florida panther is an endangered species and it's related to mountain lions. It lives in the southern part of Florida in the Everglades. You probably know that the Everglades is an area of swamps and many islands. The panther in this book is a fierce predator, but it's also a tender and nurturing mother. The author will mention flora, that means plants like gumbo limbo, cypress trees, the saw palmetto, sawgrass, and the strangler fig, and fauna, that means animals like snakes, alligators, armadillos, and ibis. The panther badly needs to eat so that she can produce milk for her kittens. Welcome to Panther's Day in the Florida Everglades. The blinding heat of summer quivers above the swamp. A long, thick tail twitches in the sawgrass. A shadow flows. It is panther. She glides silently and melts into the green silence of the swamp. It is dense with cypress, gumbo limbo, strangler fig. If you were a snowy egret, you would just catch a glimpse of furred power moving through the saw palmetto. Creatures scatter, snakes slither away, snapping turtles dive, alligator holds still, eyes like periscopes out of the water. Panther is hungry but more than hunger drives her. She pauses, sniffs the bleached bones of a white-tailed deer, her favorite food. The slightest sound, panther's ears swivel, the alligator's eyes drop. They drop beneath the water surface. Panther sways her long body and steps away carefully, soundlessly, with her huge paws. She moves toward drier ground. She spots an armadillo. Good food, but Panther needs more. Now, bigger prey. The lucky armadillo scurries beneath a stump. A flock of white ibis swirls up in the last light. Time is running out. It is dusk. She has been on the hunt since early morning. Panther scouts the edge of the grassy wetland, choosing each step through the slash pine. A thick downpour crashes into the wet prairie, then stops as quickly as it started. Fireflies flash. Spanish moss drips. Then, Panther senses something else, something in the steamy grass. She crouches on her belly. She creeps closer and closer, draws her hind paws beneath her, and extends her claws then bursts forward and pounces on a wild hog. It is over as quick and furious as the short summer storm. Panther eats fast. She has no time. She covers the remains with leaves and twigs, then glides back through the watery wild, through the cypress swamp, the vines hanging like snakes, the moonflowers, the mist-haunted night, to what awaits her. To a great uprooted oak, 
her hidden den, where three spotted blue-eyed kittens yowl, attack their mother half in hunger, half in play, then fill their bellies with their mother's milk. Panther is home again. This is the area of southern Florida that we were talking about. The Everglades starts here and goes south. And if you can see, there are so many little islands in the ocean. It's quite an exotic place. It's a national park. I hope you get to see it someday. I hope you found that book interesting. <laughs>